last week on Dancing with the Stars. It was a very emotional show for you, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Tell everybody why. Um, it was most memorable night or year. And so I chose the year 2000 whenever I was adopted by my grandparents, who are now my parents. And I tried so hard not to cry until in the package, my dad said what he said, which was on the plane ride to adopt us. He looked at me and he said, you're not gonna steal my heart. And then he said, she did, she did. Aww. And it just made me cry and I, I was crying my dance. I know, but that's so sweet. Yes. It's so beautiful. All right, so uh, we're gonna take a break and then when we come back, we're gonna meet your dance partner. What is, uh, what is he like? He's amazing. Yeah. He has a good sense of humor. He's funny. Um, he's very patient. Mm -hmm. But then once it's time to do the dance and the whole minute, 30 seconds, however long, it's down to business. Yeah, good. Because he's, I, I know he's a prankster. Yes, he yeah. is. But he hasn't pranked me yet. So well, I'm that's good. Nervous. I mean, because that could be. <laughs> Champion Simone Biles and her partner Sasha, and uh, I understand you had quite a, a reaction when you found out that uh, she was your partner. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, w being at home and watching her on my screen at the Olympics, and then literally we had this fake interview that was ready, and I was just sitting down, and all I hear is just like, "Hi," and I turn around, and I was like, "What the?" F <laughs> Simone Biles just walked into my living room. Yeah. I mean, she's a true inspiration. I've watched her pretty much her whole career, and. Now that I get to dance with her, it's like out of this world. Yeah, she's, she's amazing, isn't she? She is. And the first dance was like what? It was a tango that we did, and it was scary because I believe that's like the first time she's ever danced with a boy. Mm -hmm. So I was like taking the mints, making sure my hair is ready. Like, I'm like, okay, this is it. <laughs> this is Simone Biles right now. Yeah. But you must have been nervous too, because that's your first time dancing yes. with a, a boy. So I was very nervous, and it's very personal, all up in your space. And he would get super close to me, and every time he would be, yeah, I would do like, that exact thing. I'd be like a turtle. Yeah. And he's, he's like, you can't do that. Yeah, I like, like that. So it's like, I mean, her whole scary. life, you've just been working. Your whole life, yes. you've been an athlete, and that's all you've done. So yeah. you haven't had a boyfriend. You haven't had the yeah. kind of socialization that most young girls go to school and everything. Yeah, exactly. And so to dance with your, at 20 years old, be, you know, that's, it's scary for you. Yeah. And you're doing a great job. We're back with Jojo Siwa and her dance partner, Jenna. And uh, it's nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I have to tell you real quick. You have supplied my husband's underwear drawer for the past few years. <laughs> he was on your show a couple years ago and you gave him a basket of boxers with your face on it. And we have about 35 of you at our house. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Anyway, I love welcome. it. They are the most, <laughs> they are the most comfortable underwear. Do They're you have some too? Because we will give you some today. They are <laughs> yeah. What is it with Ellen underwear? Everybody oh, loves amazing. them. Oh, they're great. I'll give you a full review. They're great. So you got the first perfect score of, of the season. So, I mean, come on. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Making history and doing really well. What is she like as a dance partner? She's a dream. You know, I, I was, I, I'm embarrassed to say that when I first found out I would be dancing with a female, I was a little bit nervous, just how everyone was going to take it, what the response was gonna be. But I immediately said yes. And then meeting Jojo and just the courage that she has gave me so much strength. And I've just, I've never looked back. And I can't even remember what it's like to dance with a guy anymore. I'm like, <laughs> that's old news. Actually, she texted me the other day. You're oh gonna God. kill me. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna get murdered for this. She texted me the other day because she was prepping one of our dances with another guy. And she was, she texted me and she was like, I miss my partner. I just want to do this dance with you. But the girl, <laughs> yeah, it, it's been pretty incredible. Yeah, that's how I feel. Um, so, <laughs> I'm dead. You, you you're showing a whole different side of yourself because you usually wear bows and bright colors and everything. Oh, yeah. And you did the the dance uh, with the It Clown I the other did, night, right? I did. I went very full out with the It Clown dance. Uh, they wanted me actually to look like a pretty version of Pennywise, and I sat down and I was like, no. I was like, I have to be terrifying and scary and ugly tonight. And they were like, all right, you asked for it. So they painted my teeth, put gigantic contacts in my eyes, but we sold it. Every week, Jenna starts off rehearsals by telling me, you ready? Because we're going for it. We're going there. <laughs> and every week we go there and we go further and further and we push the limit just a little bit more. And 
Pennywise is just another one of that. Yeah. It was fantastic. Uh, it was Thank fantastic. You. You're so strong. I mean, she's super strong. Very. She wasn't. <laughs> I was not at all. Really? No. When I first started rehearsals, I could not do one, one yeah, push-up. One, one push-up. Not <laughs> one. Now, I yep. do that. <laughs> so we, we start out every rehearsal, we do a three-minute plank. And we do, we are now up to 38 push-ups. 38 push-ups? 38 um, push-ups. Like good nose to the floor, solid push-ups. Yeah. I've been saying, how long has it taken you to go from not doing one to 38? Because I'm stuck at 14. <laughs> I really am. I'm stuck at 14. So we've been partnered now for about eight weeks, I would say, with the rehearsal process for the show. And so eight weeks, we've gotten three-minute plank. We started at, like, one-minute plank. Right. And we're now to three minutes and 38 push-ups. And 38 push-ups. Push Defying gravity she, gets us through. Yeah, we listen to Defying <laughs> Gravity. But, yeah, she's lifting me. She's throwing me around. I mean, we have to compete with the other male celebs. So, you know, we got to do what they're doing. It's incredible. It's Thank incredible. You. Hi. Oh, my God, hello. Hello. Hi. Perfect tens. That's got to feel real good. I mean, that's what you're all going for, but when you see it, it must be like, it, it, you did it. Yeah. I, I, I think we both, we both kind of blacked out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think that they, it's weird because week in and week out, there's something new that is a massive challenge, you know, and we have to kind of deal with those things as, as we get them, and then we get to the end of it, which is the Monday night. It's our taping, and... And, uh, you know, much like tonight, you know, we're going to go and we're going to do the thing. And then hopefully we get some love from the judges. And seeing three tens, you, you never really expect it. But yeah. So now you're chasing that. Now you want that exactly. every single time. Exactly. And you chose to do a routine about your adoption. Yes. What made you want to do that? Oh, my God. Well, my parents are actually here. Right? There they are. They're so cute. Look at them. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm going on 14 years in the industry, which is weird. And um, it's been a story that... Is 23 years old. It's what makes me who I am. And my mentality has just kind of been like, why does anybody need to know? Why does anybody need to know that side of my life? And it wasn't anything that I kept to myself because I was ashamed of it or anything. It just it makes me who I am, and I had control of that. And right. When, when they asked me what my most memorable year was, it just flew out of my mouth. The 2005 is the year I was adopted officially. You got adopted in 2005. Adopted. Yeah. That's so, yeah. all right. I mean, that's beautiful. I don't know if that's why you got the, the, the perfect tens, but that's amazing that you did that and you were rewarded for that, <laughs> coincidentally, you know? Well, so you yeah. came in fourth, third, second. So this seems like the year you'd be first. I mean, right? I would love that. You would love that? <laughs> I don't honestly know how that would feel because obviously it hasn't happened yet, but I can imagine with this one, it would <sighs> feel pretty great. It, it, our relationship is so special. We've mm. been so close since day one, so being able to get that for the both of us would be... Insanely well, but insane. it would be, it would make sense because it's it really been four, three, two, Come and this on. seems like one. Right? So, it would make sense. I mean, yes. It would make sense. It, All right. make sense. it sounds good to me. Huh? Well, hello, you two. Hi. Hello. This is, uh, you're just going to be on for a different show like every other month or something. You were just on, like, just <laughs> on the show last month for The Thanks Bachelor. Thanks for having now you're me wrong. back. You're welcome. I don't know what's next, but we'll just keep having we'll you on. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, and this is exciting, right, to have Nick as a partner. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. He's doing so well. We just did the premiere last night, and he's, yeah. I know you were a little it. nervous with, with him being... Uh, tell me why you were a little nervous that he was going to be your partner. Well, you know, I think, like, I've had a Bachelor before, you know, so going from, like, reality show to reality show, you just want the fiancé to be amazing and cool, and Vanessa is so awesome. We love her. She, the, and, so yeah. the, his, the last Bachelor, the fiancé, was not 100% on board? No, it wasn't just that. It was just, like, it was so much, and you just get off this show, and then... You go into another show, and they're just not ready for it, I think. Yeah. So I, I can't remember if I was correct that I said you were going to pick Vanessa. I thought you were going to pick Corinne. I was very confused. <laughs> then, then I did say that I thought it might be Vanessa. But towards the end, a lot of people were saying that I didn't see the After the Rose because I could not commit to four hours of television. <laughs> I so, get it. Yeah. So, so I didn't see the, uh, the, uh, after the, or the After the Rose finale thing. But I heard that some people thought it was awkward, that y'all were awkward together and that people were questioning, like, and you were very honest mm -hmm. saying, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, did y'all think that it was awkward? Or did you... I, I didn't think so. I think we, we both went in it wanting to be honest and open about, you know, couples. It, sometimes things can get tough, um, but we're very committed to each other. We love each other, and that's what we're focusing on. Right. I'm glad that y'all are happy. And you. now you're on Dancing with Stars. And what is it like to dance in front of millions of people? Yeah, I could tell you're a good dancer, that you have rhythm, but this is a oh, whole different level. It's whole... 
it's a totally different level. Yeah. Because the first time you learn all these these moves, yeah. everything is just very complicated, and most of the positions that Peter asked me to do are painful, <laughs> physically. Mm -hmm. um, and so most of the time, I'm just always like in my head, just trying to thinking of what to do next, and it's it's hard to try to actually dance and smile and smile and have different shoes and diff on. Yeah. yeah, and not slip. Um, You're doing a good job. It's yeah. very hard, wow. but she's very patient with me. Yeah, um, but he hasn't performed at all. You know, most of the people on this season have actually got performance experience. Right. So it's 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 a really tough season and you know he came out there and um really did a good job yeah you know yeah i agree and you just had a baby how old is your baby he is 10 weeks oh, that's so. amazing right yeah. Yeah. i mean that's Thank that's you. crazy it's it's actually great to get back into it i think oh. look at that little baby <laughs> Aww. there he is we have a baby on our team <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it's good for mothers to get back out there and, um, you know, keep doing what they love to do. Yeah. I, I think it's good. But are you, I mean, you have to be, you're a dancer, so you're in great shape and you're, you know, conditioned to work in all kinds of situations, but you, aren't you tired? Aren't you more tired? I'm exhausted, to be honest with you. Yeah. I am so tired between, like, feeding every four hours, racing home. I don't You're nursing? I'm nursing, yeah. Um, yeah, I just I, I miss one feed um, a week. <laughs> Well, that's the other thing. I have to tape these things down now. Uh -huh. it's, it's, I can't imagine. I, big. That's. Do you try to not do bouncy dances? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I directly ask for no jive first week. I, Thank you. <laughs> wow. I mean, I really I can't imagine how tired you are to, to be a new mother and to do this. So, yeah, thank you. Um, you know, my hat's off to you. Thank you. Uh, Iman, everybody. <laughs> I got to say, Iman. Day one on Dancing with the Stars, I didn't know anybody. Obviously, none of us knew each other, really. <laughs> I feel like we became friends right away. Right away. I feel like me, you, and Jenna were kind of like a little trio. Hey, man. Uh, I, I appreciate genuine people that push their energy out. And you was always one of the people on the show that constantly gave me energy, so. Back <laughs> at you. This one on set had us constantly laughing. <laughs> Constantly crying, we were laughing so hard. He was the best, you know? Obviously, I'm a little salty I didn't win, but I'm very happy that you won. You deserved it. Your growth on the show was insane. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you're a dancer now. It's epic. Am I? Absolutely, you're a dancer. If you say so. You are absolutely a dancer. <laughs> I mean, you won Dancing with the Stars. Do you hey, need more man. validation than that? <laughs> Our, before the show, I always, you know, had a very intense workout. But you had a very different pre-show ritual. What did you do before the show? Uh, for me, my pre-game ritual is, uh, I kind of go into a basketball mode too with it. I try and, um, I have to talk to my wife. I have to talk to my kids. Uh, once I get off that FaceTime, I just sort of go in there and I play a bunch of music that has nothing to do with the dance. I heard. <laughs> That has nothing to do. And played his music. I got a book bag that happens to have a speaker built into it. It just just so happens. Uh, and he brings it everywhere. Yeah, but I I get into the music that I like and uh you know I sing it extremely loud. Yeah, <laughs> we heard. It's amazing. <laughs> I uh, I also heard someone in your house wasn't voting for you. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Because she'd rather wear them jackets that them kids wear right there in that front. <laughs> your daughter, Juna, she is yeah. adorable. And speaking of your family, your wife, Tiana, is a dancer. She Twitch, is. you actually worked with her, right? Yeah, I did. I worked on uh, uh, with Tiana on Stomp the Yard like you years did. ago. Absolutely. Oh, man. And obviously, she's an incredible dancer. <laughs> I wanted to know how much she was chiming in during the competition with you. Uh... You know, she didn't. She didn't put pressure on me early. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was a competition. She didn't know how I was going. How I was going to act. And then, as the weeks went on, right. it was like you got to stop looking down. <laughs> it, was like, it was like you, you know what you got to do. You see what the judges are doing. You got to make the adjustment because uh, she just she gets really competitive. Right. right. <laughs> she, yeah, speaking of competition, so now it's like a house full of dancers. Who's the best dancer in your house now? Junie. Junie. <laughs> <laughs> I love Junie. Her birthday is right around Christmas. Yeah. But I want to know, how was your Christmas? Did she get everything on her wish list? Everything and more. Uh. Everything <laughs> and more. You mentioned your little other daughter. Yeah, Rue. You delivered both your babies. Yeah. I remember you told us this story on set one time, but tell all them, 
He actually physically delivered the kids. Tell them all. All right, I'll give you a, I'll shorten it for you. Uh, we, uh, I came back off the road and um, I came home. My wife was having some pains. She thought it was uh, Braxton Hicks. All the ladies out there understand. The fellas too, you know, you think it's gonna happen and it just yeah. never happens. And then uh, that night, I guess it wasn't Braxton Hicks, we found out. It, it, was, it, was, it was the real thing. <laughs> it was happening, she just yells out, uh, yeah, I think I see her head. And, and you're like, oh, I, that yep, head. <laughs> I, had to stop, I had to stop putting the baby bag together and the, the overnight bags, I had to stop and just. You had to, you had to do a little more than that. <laughs> yeah, I, I got it done though. Uh, I caught, I, I didn't have to do much but catch, so don't give me too much credit. I don't have to do much. If you were a Player, you did catch that. I got great hands, great hands. Good, good thing you've been training your whole life for that moment. Yeah, uh, but that, that happened with Rue, but Rue was more, we planned to have her in the home because, gotcha. you know, there was some, some bad. like, there. I did it once, I can do it again. But now if I have another kid, I can't, I gotta have him in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I'm you're, hoping it's a boy. You're, you're, you're scrubbing in. Yeah, again. You're like, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, have to, because it's like, you're gonna, now. gonna feel left out. Yeah, yeah you, you can't got left, to. Maybe you left out. I was so excited when I found out that Iman is gonna be joining the Dancing with the Stars tour. <laughs> oh. And oh. Danny's going, right? Yeah, yeah Danny's going. His pro on the show, Danny's also going on, on the tour, so we're gonna see his crazy lifts once again. I cannot wait. I'm so pumped up for you. <laughs> Up until then, what are you up to? What are you doing? I'm just dadding, man. It's, that's an everyday job for me. Just I'm that's... being a dad, and I'm, I'm trying to say yes to, to other things. I think so much of my life I've cut out to just be like, yo, I'm waiting on the NBA, I'm waiting on this, I'm waiting on that, totally. and everything is athletic. And now, you know, I'm, I'm just saying yes to other opportunities while I wait. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. Be it. He's dadding. Dadding. Great. <laughs> All right, everyone, when we come back, we're going to have a little Dancing with the Stars rematch. I just can't let it go. Oh, Lord. Hi, right, everybody. We are back with the one, the only, Iman Shumpert. Oh, man, that's a nice one for the one, the only. He happened to beat me on Dancing with the Stars this year. Don't know how. I'm just kidding. And uh, right now, we're going to do a little rematch. He deserved it. He really did. You killed it. We're going to do a little rematch with Ellen's game called Last Dance. Twitch. Tell us how this works. Okay, so this is like a hot potato with dancing, right? Okay. You're gonna take turns doing whatever dance comes up on the screen behind you. When you hear the ding, that means it's the other person's turn and you have to freeze in whatever position you're in until it goes back to your turn. If you're the last person dancing, when the music stops, you lose. Now, the winner gets to take home the Ellen Show Magic 8 Ball Trophy. Wow. See, it's... It's an honor. It's, it's just like the mirror ball trophy, but not at all. Please tell me that's going in your mama's house, too. And here's the twist. We'll see. Okay, got one more twist. There's someone here who wants to play, too. Junie, come on out here. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Look out! Look out! Junie? You have you the coolest too? kid. Huh? You go play? Yeah. Okay, right, you Junie, gotta stay on your mark. Who team do you want to be on? Junie, whose team do you want to be on? You going JoJo or Dad? Um. <laughs> oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, oh, boy! Go okay. Then, Team well, JoJo, go. you're up go. first. Are you All ready? Right. Ready? Yeah. Go. Let's get it. Salsa! Salsa. Let's go. Let's go. go. Hey! <laughs> Salsa. Oh, 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 Chris, we can do this. 
Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Oh. She froze. Yeah. Listen, unfreeze. We are doing Dancing with the Stars miniature. Oh, she is yeah. going to be on it. I, I, I listen, I, at this point, I got to give it to Junie. You. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 Well deserved. Yeah. Well deserved, Junie. Oh, man. That smile? So happy. <laughs> All right, so what made you do Dancing with the Stars? You know what? When I first got asked, it wasn't like a for sure thing. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do it. But then I was thinking, I was like, you know what? Hollywood is kind of on lockdown right now. Why right. not just have some fun, get a good workout in? Right. Um, and then, yeah, I'm also doing it, you know, because Cameron Boyce was a really close friend of mine. And I'm going to be donating some of my earnings to the Cameron Boyce Foundation. And I feel like this is something he would want me to do because... I'm very like shy and in my little bubble. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just break out of my comfort zone. And he was a dancer, so I know he would have loved it. Absolutely, yeah. Shouts to Cameron, man. I've, I've, I've shared before with Cameron a couple times, man. Much love to him. Now, also being with the show, you kind of said that it's, uh, you know, that it helps you through a lot. Uh, what has the show been helping you through? You know what? I deal with a little bit of anxiety, and I'm a very shy person, which people might not realize because you see me on TV, you see me in interviews, but I'm just real chill and laid back. So I feel like this show has made me do something that I'm not comfortable with doing, mm. and I love it. It's great, and I feel like it's a great challenge for me, and I'm always here to take on a challenge. Well, and, and I believe that when you say challenge, because I know a, a lot of people don't know this, but you're doing this while you're in college. Yes, I am in college. It is something that I was determined to do before I even got on the show. And when the show came about, you know, I, I could have had the option to take a break and come back. But I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm going to do it. So whenever I'm not rehearsing, I'm down at that table for hours doing my essays and homework. And that's pretty much what I do, work and school. You know, what I, what I also, just real quick, I always want to say this about you, something that I really appreciate is, obviously, you've been at this since you were, you were nine months, and mm -hmm. you could very well just kind of be comfortable and chilling with the Disney shows that have happened or just, like, you know, right. like, doing a spot day here and there, but the fact that you just continue to expand and, and just yeah. really push the ceiling of what people might, might have given you is uh, incredibly admirable, and I hope that people out there that watch you, your fans and, and, and those that admire you, really take that in and are inspired by that. I think that's awesome. Thank you. You know, it's really important to me. I could just, you know, sit here, do whatever, and deal with what I have, but I always just love to do more than one thing. I love to have my hands in every pot. So any way I can expand myself and educate myself in any way, I'm always doing it. We love that. Yo, we're here rooting for you. We got your back. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Good oh, to see you. It's good to see you, you again. Great. I mean, I see you all the time because you're a member of my squad. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you were here the other day with my squad, and I really appreciate it. The best squad in the world. Oh, it is. It Hands really down. is. We hang out all the time. We do. That's <laughs> Taylor thinks she has the best squad, but we have the best squad. Yeah, actually, yeah. all the guys are talking about it, too. They wish they could be in the squad. But Who's talking about it? My guys in my band. Oh, really? They're jealous. Oh, well, they're not in the squad, though. <laughs> it's, it's shut down. That's, I can't have more well, than that. Can yeah. I be? I want to be in the squad. No, it's, it's too late. No? We, I don't have a van big enough. I can't, <laughs> I can't fit any more. Alf was the last one that I left in. Um, That's so funny. <laughs> The last time you were here, it was 2009, and you That's were talking right. about struggling with, uh, you were very open and honest about mm -hmm. struggling with drug and alcohol addiction, and you seem to be doing, you look fantastic. Yeah, I'm definitely doing better. Um, and I mean, it's an everyday type of thing that I gotta pay attention to, but it's funny enough, when I left that interview with you, the things you said stuck with me. And if not for you, you know, you were one of the biggest reasons that I changed my life. Honest to God. Right. Because, because you were straightforward with me, you know, and, and it, it, meant, it meant a lot. Thank you. I'm glad that I could help in any way. And uh, like I said, you look fantastic. Thank and you. I'm happy that, that you feel healthy and you're on Dancing with the Stars. And yes. what, So how did you make this decision to do the show? Well, actually, um, I'd been on tour with the boys for the, the past, I mean, forever. And um, ever since my brother had done the show, um, they kind of contacted me and asked me if I, I wanted to do it. And 
I just didn't have time because I was on the road. And, I'm, and so it kind of came around. And I was doing a movie with Joey Fatone up in, um, from NSYNC, if you know him. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and basically, I was pondering the idea. And, and I said, hey, Joey, what do you think if I, if I do this, you know, do Dance with the Stars? He said, I had a great experience. I think you should do it. It's a lot of fun. And Everyone so, says they have a great experience. Yeah. So this, were you a Backstreet Boys fan? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like a massive Backstreet Boys fan. I had posters all over my walls, uh, some specifically of Nick. So that was super awkward. We talk when about we it all met. the time. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, didn't believe it when I saw him. I thought, surely it's someone else in this room. It's not going to be him. And he kept looking at me. I was like, oh my goodness, oh my, this is real. This is happening. Oh my god, this is happening. <laughs> and uh, we had our first meet, and I was blushing the entire time. Uh, but certainly when we got into the rehearsal studio, he is such a hard worker that I was like, I'm going to give you everything I got. And so we work really, really hard yeah. and we work really well together. So it's been awesome so far. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so um, I have to get to this. Uh, you tweeted out now, is this going to happen really? The Backstreet Boys and Spice Girls, will they? Will you go on tour <laughs> together? Spice Girls and Backstreet Boys? I mean, I mean it was an idea. I'm friends with Mel B. It was an idea that we've been pondering for quite some time and thought it'd be a really cool thing to do. And uh, and all the boys, every single one of us are on board. We would love to do it. It'd be a great thing. Um, but, you know, it's really kind of up to the girls and what they want to do. And actually, it was funny enough, I, I thought maybe maybe you could help us out with that. You know, I will you help you try out. To, try to orchestrate yes. this entire thing yes. that actually happened. I mean, Alan yeah. is super powerful. So. I am. Ladies, come on. What are you waiting for? What an <laughs> awesome tour that would be to have the Backstreet Boys, Spice Girls, I actually, when I saw that tweet, I made something up. We're going to sell it in the riffraff room, and we're going to try to get this movement going. I've already made T-shirts for your tour. Look at this! So, oh! I love That's that. So awesome. Yeah. So. Amazing. If you want to support this and we want to get this started, uh, you'll see this in the. I think I have five made, and <laughs> no, I don't. I have more than that. Wow, good to see you. It's so good to see you. Congratulations, you won Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Thank you. I mean. When we had you on the show for that, I was really impressed. I was like, oh, you're really, really good. So I thought you had a good shot at it. But I know this means a lot, not only to you, but to your parents. This is like a huge deal. Yeah, so um, after the Olympics, I went on the show. Thankfully, I won. And my mom decided that she wanted to put the Mirrorball trophy on the coffee table in the center of our living room. Sure. Um, so yeah, when people walk in, it's kind of like, oh, that's a little weird. Maybe we should put it in a corner or something. <laughs> No, but it should, it belongs right there on the coffee table. You <laughs> earned that, and that's they should they should show that off. Where are your gold medals? They they're showing that off more than your gold medals. Um, well, the gold medals those are kind of hidden. In I see. Safe somewhere. And this is on the coffee table. Yeah. I see. Well, everyone has their priorities. Um, <laughs> so that was a big year for you, 2016. And now, uh, what are your goals for 2017? I think I want to go on a date. <laughs> I've never been on a date before, so I think that would be a lot of fun. And I want to get my driver's license. Wait, wait, you want, you've you never been on a date because you've been just working <laughs> your whole life, right? Yeah. But, <laughs> so, uh, wow. So how are you going to do that? What, I mean, how are you going to meet a guy? Um, what are you going to do? You have to have a plan. I don't have a plan. Well, you need a plan. You need to, you know, go to parties or you need to, like, meet somebody through friends or then... You... If he looks like Dave Franco, then it's fine. I know. <laughs> you love Dave Franco, don't you? Yeah, he's cute. So that's, that's, that's your type, is Dave Franco kind of guy. <laughs> are you going to, will you have time to date? If you, are you going to go to the 2020 Olympics? Um, I think so. I mean, I had such a good time in 2016, so I'd love to go back and do that again. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think I want to take a small break. When, whenever you walk out, do they play that song a lot? Is that a... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing yeah. good. So now, is this, uh, is this, I heard that you signed up to do Dancing with the Stars before any of this stuff happened. Because yes. you did. Yeah. So you already were locked in. Because I thought you were doing this to kind of get out there and try to, you know. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I decided to do this, like, a month before all this has happened. And, you know, there was a certain time where I was like, is this the right idea? I was going to say, did you think maybe I shouldn't do it? Should I lay low? Well, I mean, I realized I, I reached, like, a, the lowest point of my entire life that I never thought I would go to. And I was in a really dark place. And I didn't know if I should come out. I just hide my entire life. Um, but I reached to my family and my friends. 
and they kept me positive and saying, you know, you have to do this. Like, you have to get out there. You can't always hide the rest, your rest of your life and just embrace this opportunity. So that's why I'm here. All right. So they just, I, I think they just announced today that, uh, that you have a 10-month suspension. You can't swim. I mean, you can swim. You just, yeah. you <laughs> like, if you're swimming, they're not going to come get you out of the water. But yeah. you can't. <laughs> You can't compete at all for 10 months, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I've been swimming my entire life, and I've never taken a break. And for someone telling me that I can't do something that I've been doing my entire life, I mean, it's heartbreaking. And it stinks. But, you know, I definitely know there's so much more I want to accomplish in the sport of swimming. So I do know that I'm still going to be training. And when I do come back, I'm going to be a, definitely a better swimmer and a better person. Good. Well, that's good to hear. That's, that's the attitude. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you reached out to Michael Phelps when all this happened and got his advice because he's yes. been through a little bit too, you know. Yeah. So, what did he say? Um, yeah, I reached out to him because I knew he hit a low point in his life and he bounced back from it. And he, one of the things, and I knew his on his answer was going to be really honest, just because of our relationship over the years. So. He said, it's not what you did, it's what you do now that will shape who you are. And I took that to heart, and you know, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna better myself, uh, make sure I don't make those mistakes, and become a better person. Good, and do you think that you will be, you know, I mean, you say you're gonna be a better swimmer, then do, do you wanna go to Tokyo? Um, yes, I definitely want to, um, but you know, the past year, I was mentally tired of the sport of swimming because I've been doing it for so long. And now that the suspension and everything has happened, um, I can take that mental break. Um, but there's still, I still have goals that I want to accomplish. So, you know, I'll definitely be back and hopefully be ready to that'd rock and roll. And Good, that'd be great. Now, Cheryl, I, I heard that you, when you heard that he was doing this, that you actually asked to be his partner. Uh, that is true. <laughs> and um, why you know, is that? Coming back to Dancing with the Stars was a big deal for me. And when I heard Ryan was going to be doing the show, I was really excited. Um, you know, he's an interesting guy. And, you know, Dancing with the Stars is kind of like an arranged marriage. So I was coming into this, I'm like, I really hope I like the guy. You know, <laughs> and he ended up being a great person, and I'm really happy mm -hmm. that he's my partner. And you know, it's a journey, so we'll see what happens. But and you're stuck with me, kid. Is he is he good? Is he like? Uh, I mean, because he's. <laughs> you know, I'll, you would think because he's a swimmer, you'd have like some <laughs> rhythm. No. I mean, not clearly, at all. I can't swim. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you like, would be a horrible swimmer. I would be a horrible swimmer. That's, 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 like, I know. She's, like, she's teaching it? me basically how to walk. Because in swimming, I hold my breath. She's teaching me how to breathe during dancing. Because like, like, I'm holding yes. my breath like uh -huh. during the whole like, the routine. Whole and I'm routine. just like, he just, I yeah, don't know what just to like do. that. Just and, like that. And you and, pigeon what do you mean toes. You hold your breath? Don't you, when you're swimming, don't you, sw when you turn your head, <laughs> don't you take a breath? Yeah, but for the shorter events, you hold your breath. Because you don't want to breathe, it'll slow you down. So like, for how long? In dancing, I can hold my breath for about four and a half minutes. That's so crazy. That's really. So during this routine, I'm like, it's like, at the end, I'm like, he's all up in his shoulders. <laughs> she's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I can't breathe. <laughs> uh, you can hold your breath for four and a half minutes. Yeah. That's crazy. You that don't need crazy. to do that, Ryan. Four no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, really, I thought the whole thing about swimming is when you turn your head. You, you take a breath, and why does it help you to not take a breath when you turn your head on the shorter ones? Because you're going out of alignment. Like, you want to be straight as an arrow, so when you don't breathe, you're... Then you keep your head down. You keep your head down, and you're just like... Shh. You're just going. You're just going. Go even when gold. you keep your head... Sorry, this is off topic, but <laughs> even... Because when I try to swim, I'm always hitting the side. I never... <laughs> I can't go straight, and how do you how do you do that where you don't angle off slightly? Well, in in the swimming pool, you have a lane line, so you have a black tie, like black line. And so you keep your eyes open. So you keep your eyes that? open. Yeah. I need to paint me a line. <laughs> That's what Go I'm gonna do. Goggles will help. Goggles will and help. And a goggle. <laughs> All right. We'll take a break. We'll be back. We're back with Ryan Lochte and Cheryl Burke. And we, you know, we've been asking people. I think we started last season. We needed a new Ellen underwear model, and we got a lot of submissions. And we didn't realize that you... <laughs> how, how did we miss that? We lost the tape. Somehow we didn't know you auditioned, and I we did, just I found did. the wow. tape. This is when he, he auditioned to be an Ellen Underwear model. Oh,
I'm Olympic gold medalist Ryan Lochte, and I want to be Ellen's underwear model. <laughs> Ellen underwear is perfectly smooth, just like my entire body. <laughs> Ellen underwear provides the perfect amount of support for my swim team. Ellen underwear is the best in the world. It's the Michael Phelps of underwear. Get yours today. That All right. All right. All right. <laughs> we, wow. we had some other people that we were, we were going to put you in uh, as a contender. I'll let you know. All right? All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Good you luck to you. <laughs> um, so tonight is the very first night of Dancing with the Stars. It what are you the most nervous about? Letting her down. Um, I, and like making a fool of myself in, in front of millions. Uh, yeah. I just don't want to mess this up. You won't. I'm just, I mean, I'm terrified that we may get booed for like a, and I'm joking. <laughs> My hands are starting to sweat. Uh, you're like, oh. you're not no, but honestly, booed. no, you're doing great. I just, I keep telling Ryan, just smile through the whole dance and have a great time. It's yeah. going to go by so quick. You're and gonna who, be great. who are you worried about is your competitors this year? Lori Hernandez, the other Olympian that, that's on. She's, yeah. uh, she's amazing. I was watching her. She yeah. can move. She can move. And she is I'm graceful. <laughs> but, you know, I keep telling Ryan one step at a time because it's a long ways to go. Yep. You got like 20 dances to go. <laughs> I know, right? One. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, that's the, it's every time somebody comes on here, it's so much harder than they think. So yeah. we'll have fun, enjoy it, and don't Thank think you. about it, don't overthink it, and just enjoy the moment, you know? Thank just you. just Thank have you. fun. Dancing with the Stars premieres tonight at 8 on ABC. We'll be right back. Well, first of all, congratulations. Y'all are doing you. great. Your competition, Thank so you. we'll, we have to keep this, yeah. you know. Twitch's. <laughs> yeah, Twitch's wife is, uh, She's doing great too. She She's is. Doing but y'all but y'all are doing fantastic. Thank you. And uh, so how, what made you want to do this? Had you been thinking about this for a while or how did this come up? You know, they asked me a couple years ago and I just I it was something I didn't even think that I would be capable of and I started dancing a little bit in this show that I was doing this year and I thought why not? You know, I, I get to have an amazing ballroom dancer teach me how to dance, and they have to put up with me for as long as I'm there. Right. So why not? <laughs> but I mean, it is, it, it's putting yourself out there, yeah. and it's doing different kind of dances that you've never even, because have you taken dance lessons at all? No, not None. at all. Nothing. She actually, in, in, in her play that she does, she plays a wannabe ballroom dancer that is supposed to be really bad at it, but really <laughs> wants to do it very, you know, and uh, she's really good in that play, so. <laughs> Well, that's, and y'all have such a cute chemistry, too. I mean, that's what everybody's talking about, and that helps tremendously when you're yeah. dancing. What makes her such a good partner? Is she, uh, I mean, I know she's a hard worker, but quick to learn? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. that's a relative term. Uh, I, think, I think it's, you know, her, her spirit is just so beautiful, and, uh, she, you know, she wants to do well. She, she, she has no, you know, she's not promoting anything. She is genuinely there to do well, to, to dance her best, yeah. and uh, have a great time, so. And what's, I always ask this, what's the, the thing that surprises you the most, that's the hardest, and what's the best thing about it? I mean, I think the thing that surprises you is you don't really realize that, you know, you do a show on Monday, and no matter how well you think that you've done, or even if you've done a great job, you are back in the rehearsal studio on Tuesday learning another dance, and it just doesn't stop, and I think I was, really surprised my stamina the first week when we were doing it. I was huffing and puffing in the corner just trying to breathe at the end of the dance. But it's fun, I love it. Have you so been amazing. injured yet? Uh, no, I've, I've been the injurer, just unfortunately. Emotional. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just a few Have you, has injuries. she injured you? Uh, yeah, she actually, <laughs> we have I, a trick. In, well, so last week we did the salsa and we did like a disco salsa, mm -hmm. hence the, the outfits, they're not our regular no? day outfits. But no. uh, yeah, she, was supposed to land in my arms and her parts landed on my face. <laughs> it, uh, you know, I, I didn't, ki I kind of didn't see it coming, so it, it kind of busted I my busted lip. lip open. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow. It was exciting, though. It was a good, good way to get to know each other. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> I'm sure it was. And your parents are there. Uh, Bruce and Demi are there every single week, which is really sweet that they're supportive. I know they have yeah. a great relationship anyway, but I think it's, it surprises people, but I love that they're there and supporting you. It's really nice, honestly, I love having them there. And my sisters are probably the two wildest, you know, 
people in the audience just cheering me on. It's really fun. <laughs> I mean, it's really cool for you to be on. I'm sure for them too that you're like uh, they're just thrilled that you're there. Oh yeah, I mean, especially Scout and Lula literally screamed the loudest in the first video. We're doing you know such a kind of dramatic dance, and you just see them in the background like freaking out. <laughs> like, yeah. Is that distracting to you? Do you see out of the corner of your eye? Do you do you see them? I mean, I kind of love it. It's so cool. You know, I I would never ever put myself in a position like this ever before. Of you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I could totally fail and be you know fall on the floor. And to have all of them out there and being so supportive is really amazing. Good for you. It's a brave thing to do. So, do you think uh, you you've done this before? You've been uh, on the show several times. Do you think that this is the year? You know, I, I want to earn it. You know, yeah. I want us to deserve it. And if we deserve it at the end of the day and we get it, it's going to be wonderful. Yeah, you have to have the right pants on for that. Yeah, yeah. I just spit my jeans. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> All right. Our audience. I know, it's fun. Every day I get this. And, uh, well, you know, you've been here many times. Yeah. Both of you have. Uh, all right, let's talk about the controversy. They're saying it's not fair because you're a pussycat, you're a dancer, you've had training, you're... Well, You've seen, we've been on the show many times before, you've seen our dancing. Mm -hmm. It's hardly the jive or the waltz mm -hmm. or the quick step. This is, I mean, I'm, I'm a professionally trained singer first, and this is unlike any style of dancing I've ever done. So, I mean, we're used to doing, you know, the breast pumps and a lot of hair choreography. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, no, really, honestly, it's because he's a really good teacher, and we just work really hard every week. The show's kicking my butt. Yeah. Everybody says that. Everybody says it's really the hardest thing that they've ever done. It's very challenging. It's like, the, I'm used to a, a strenuous work schedule, but this is like a style of dancing that I've never done. It's just, it's, you know, in four or five days, you've got to learn, like, the rumba. Yeah. And then you've got to learn all these new dances. No, it looks really, really hard. And uh, now in Us Weekly, they're saying that your uh, enemy's number one enemy, Kate Gosselin, right? Is that going on also? What's happening in here? Let's. Uh, I'm the number one enemy? That's I, pretty cool. Or she is. Or, uh, who's she looks the... pretty happy about it, though. Yeah. What? I'm yeah. really happy to be the number Yeah, she's like, all right. <laughs> no, we're all really cool. We're like a family backstage. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we really, we really are. We really, there's everybody's competition. Really you can't be a fan. I mean, a family that fights. You've got to be. There's got to be like that that competition. I mean, you're you're looking. You want to. You you're wanting to to do well every week. And but I think it's really funny because we all support. She's sitting there and she's supporting everybody, and it's really cool to see everybody get better and better and better. And you, you go, man, she did really good this week. Like Kate did a fantastic job this week. I thought, mm -hmm. you know, you know, and I was really happy for her. And, uh, yeah. I'm a fan of everyone. I, I like get caught up in the show and I'm watching everyone. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot that I'm on it. And we've got to like warm up and go and dance. Yeah. Now, are y'all, everybody's uh, seeming to be a couples on the show right now. Everybody's dating. Is that? Uh, oh, they are? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the rumor anyway. That's what they're saying. Are y'all dating now? Um, no. No. It would be news to us if we were. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, well, then you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and what's happening with, I think I saw the other night, uh, someone from the Pussycat Dolls there. Uh, I, I think. Ashley was yes, there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are, now, are y'all still together? You're broken up? What's happening with the Pussycat Dolls? Uh, a couple of the girls have left the group. I'm still in the group. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? Every, people don't, at home, I don't know if they know, but before the show starts, you guys always play a lot of music and stuff. And I was checking out a couple of the girls in the audience today, and they look like some pussycat dolls. You want to recruit some people from That's the audience right. for the so, pussycat dolls? I think so. We'll recruit them during the dance. All right. We'll check them out in this next break. We'll play a song, we'll watch them, and we'll see if oh, there's somebody that's ready to join. They were working it out. All right. They were working it out. Now, I, I would assume it's just a hard to walk, period, much less in those shoes right yes, now. Yes, you see me teetering? Yeah, well, I mean, you, I know you're rehearsing, so <laughs> I know how sore you must be. Yes. But you dance on Glee, so what's the difference between dancing on Glee and doing this? You know, there's 11 other people that are camouflaging my bad dancing on Glee. I see. And uh, I'm not as self-conscious. Like, I'm a little more self-conscious. This is just me. It's all my body. I'm doing the cha-cha. It's the boobs and the booty, and mm -hmm. all of that's going to be close up on camera, and that's, right. you know, that's in my head, but I'm, I'm having fun. Though. Now, what is the hardest part? Because I know that everybody says it's harder than you can ever imagine, and you've heard that. You were warned. What's the hardest part? <laughs> the dancing. It really is hard because, you know, I have rhythm. I can move, mm -hmm. but 
to perfect it and have to have technique and uh, that's that's not easy. Yeah. Well, and then how many hours a day are you rehearsing? About four hours a day. And you're mm -hmm. still doing Glee? Um, I, yeah, I did the actually did the um, tribute episode. Yeah, um, the first episode and the third episode and the tribute episode for Corey. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, and how? Yeah, that's. Uh... <laughs> so you're dancing with uh, with Derek Huff. Yes. Um, you poor thing. Oh. That's. Uh, that's... <laughs> I was waiting for the cat call. Yeah. <laughs> now, the only thing we ask of you as, as a viewer is if you could get him to take his shirt off as much as possible. That won't be a problem. Yeah. It well, won't he... be a problem. He's super sweaty. He's always taking his shirt off. Yeah? It's sexy to y'all, but it's gross to me. I got to yeah. be all on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you got to be all on that? <laughs> That's a shame. The sweat, the sweat, yeah. the no, sweat. I, oh, I see. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, you're probably sweating too. Don't act like yes. you don't sweat. But my sweat is sweet. I'm I a girl. See. I see. I smell great. Right? I see. Yeah. Ladies, we don't smell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna take a break and uh, we're gonna play a little game after this. We'll be right back. Right. Emma Riley from Glee and now Dancing with the Stars. And we heard that Derek Huff is a huge Heads Up fan, mm -hmm. which everybody is. It's the most fun game in the world. So, Derek. <laughs> brand new category that will be out next week. It's not available yet, but I think it comes out next week. And it's, uh, and it takes two people, because the category is acted out. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh. oh. <sighs> uh, falling. I, I, um, uh, uh, trust fall. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, piggyback. Yes. <laughs> Oh. It could, have, could have been something else. Chest, chest bump. Yes. Oh, 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 well, oh, oh shoot. Yes. Okay, wait, go. Oh, oh leapfrog. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, CPR. Yes. Oh. Uh, paparazzi. Yes. Oh. Slow motion. Yes. Oh. Uh, haircut, haircut, hairstyle. Yes. Oh, man, come on. I, oh. Massage. Yes. Should have waited longer for that one. Oh, for you. oh, oh. How do you. Hold on. Hold on. But uh, pretending... Cuddling, uh, spooning. Yes. Oh, oh. Walking a dog. Walking a dog. Yes, yes. it's close Yeah, that one. Oh. Uh, football. B b uh, quarterback. Touchdown. Yes. That's it. That's it. Wow. That was good. So it's good to see you. I just saw you the other day. Yeah, I was I was waiting for you to show up. Evan and I were standing there, and Cheryl and I said, "There she is! Can we go meet her?" And then I, I dragged them to take me to see you because I know they're friends with you. Yeah, well, yeah, well, Cheryl's been here yeah. many times, and uh, and Evan, of course, uh, we we shoot uh, Idol like literally in the same hallway. The same thing is is uh, Dancing with the Stars. So and y'all are doing very well. And I just you know I have to say, and for people who don't know the story, I I just think the fact that you can be so visible and public and not let something like what happened to you uh, stop you or try to, to uh, slow down your life in any way. I admire that about you so much because Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I think it would be so easy for something like that to cripple you and, and be scared of people and non-trusting and, and, and in, just in a nutshell, I guess, uh, explain, uh, as a reporter, you, someone was stalking you and uh, videotaping you. Right. I, I don't even understand how they were videotaping you. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to understand. We found out um, this past July that a gentleman had been following me for a couple of years and actually um, taking video of me through a peephole in a hotel. Um, he had put like four to five videos of me and then later we found out he had been stalking 16 other women, put videos of them as they were changing in their hotel room. Um, and 
Thank goodness I had an amazing group of guys in the FBI that tracked him down. He followed me all the, over the United States. We were able to put him behind bars. Unfortunately, Good. yeah. Only for 30 months. He's going to jail for 30 months. And the worst part about that is, you know, I'm never going to get the stuff down off the internet. But um, Dance with the Stars came to me before everything happened and said, we'd love to have you. I was kind of, you know, tentative about doing it after everything broke with the stalker. But um, I wanted to do it because I thought this would be a great platform to come and talk to you, come and be on a show where, you know, millions of people watch and just say, if you're stalked, if you're a victim of video voyeurism, you shouldn't be embarrassed. You should live your life. You're a victim. You didn't do anything to yourself. And they've been a wonderful family. I've got a, a Russian on my side now that isn't going to let anyone come near me. Evan Lysacek. Evan has said he will take his blade out, his skating blade, for yeah. anyone who comes near me. So right. it's a big family. Yeah, you've got a lot of protection now. Nobody's yeah. going to ever come near you. you. You shouldn't worry about anything. And, and people that, you know, it's, it's, but it is hard to, but it's a good voice that you have to say, don't let something like that stop you from living your life. Right. Uh, and uh, so what's the, is the truth, uh, do you want to tell us the truth? It says right here on the cover of People, it's a yeah. hot romance. Hot. Is that hot romance? Is it a romance at all? Is it hot? Is it is it a hot friendship? What what is is it is it hot in any way? It depends on what day you get us on. Uh huh. <laughs> we, we 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 divorce every evening. There's usually because you're we're with back. each other for six to seven hours a day training, but then you go off and you have dinner, or you have breakfast, or you have lunch. And according to some tabloids, he's making all of those meals for me. Thank you. They're so good. Apparently, I'm an amazing cook. <laughs> But what do you mean, just because you're spending that much time together, you can't be a couple? Well, no, just I think everybody thinks that it's just so hot. And, yeah, you get hot because you're working out, but it's like, do you really think I'm attractive? Was, I mean, this guy smelled. Did you smell him, by the way? Please don't smell. Smell. Come oh. smell him. I don't smell. I don't, I don't smell. It smells good. So that smells hot, but after six to seven hours of training, this isn't hot. No? So I don't know how no. hot this romance is. Right, look at that. <laughs> but there are other couples. There's other couples that are a couple, so that means that y'all could be a couple as well. We are, heard... they, are they a couple? Yes. Are they? Of course they're a couple. We heard you ask Chad and Cheryl that. They told us, basically. They didn't answer, but in a way they answered. Chad <laughs> gives out jewelry. I don't get jewelry. I just get yelled at. Yeah. Why I, don't you I give don't her a $10,000 ring? Thank you. It's actually a $20,000 ring. Oh, really? It is? Wow. Apparently, that's what I heard. Did I hear it wrong? Go Chad. Yeah, no, you know, at the end of the day, you, you're like, you know, we rehearse, we meet up for breakfast, we go, we practice, we get in the fight, we come back, we have lunch. Get in another fight. Get in another fight. <laughs> and then in the evening, you're like, please go away. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds hot. You hot. know, so it's, it's, if that's hot, that's, you know, we're steaming. <laughs> well, somehow it works as, as a couple dancing, the chemistry is there. And so um, what made you, did you want to do Dancing with the Stars? Was it something in the back of your mind that you thought someday I'll do that? Um, I, I've been a fan of the show. You know, I saw Ultra Cinco and Emmett Smith and all these guys do it. I never saw myself doing it. Um, got a huge opportunity to do it. And, you know, here we are. I'm sitting here with Whitney, the best partner that I've ever had, best teammate I've ever had. She makes me feel Aww. comfortable. And, um, yeah, it should be a, a pretty fun experience. It's all been great. And oh, how is he different than other partners you've had? He's been great. He actually, he can pick up choreography really quick. And he's, like, so massive. Like, <laughs> he's so big. I think when in doubt, I'm just going to be like, lift, just toss me up in there. <laughs> yeah. All right, I know you like to wear glasses. You have a lot of different kinds of glasses. So we got you some glasses that could help you um, possibly win. And here, you can put them on right now. Oh, my god. <laughs> This is what you're going to look like. I love those. Oh, my gosh. Those are amazing. <laughs> All right. Can you see? <laughs> love it. Yeah. No, those are yours. It's just for you. How are you? I'm great. All right. So why are you doing I'm sure that, that they have come to you every single season saying do this show. Yes. And Have they? I'm sure they've done that to you, too. Uh, you're no, the dancer. No, they have not come to me. Well, you're too big of a star. Uh, no. I'm just not cool enough to do it. No, no, no. No. Tell, <laughs> not cool enough. Tell, I love it. Tell me uh, why you're doing it now versus when they've asked you before. Well, I just thought it would be fun. I want to learn how to dance, mm -hmm. number one. Do I've you... never danced in my life. I've never taken a lesson. I always wanted to. And it, the timing was good. Mm -hmm. I, you know, rehearsed when the kids were at school, and then 
I'm going to see what happens, but right. it should be. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I've had a great teacher. That's not true that you don't dance. I have proof. I have. Uh, this That's is not dancing. You've been dancing with me on this show. <laughs> I think we have a clip reminding people. <laughs> Going to go up this year. I think yes. they get good enough ratings, but people are going to want. Are you worried about the injuries though? Because everybody says number one, how hard it is, right? And and then that, are you accident prone? No, I, I, you know, any injury I've had in my past, I definitely feel it now. So it's true what they say when you get older, you know, you feel it, especially right. when you exercise, right? Which is new too. Uh huh. Exercising is yes, new to it's you. It's all new too. So You've never exercised? No, not really. Well, not since I was younger. You know. No, gymnastics. You don't and, work out? No, and I think that's a thin mare you got in the back because either that or I'm losing a little weight. Yeah, you're losing weight. You're I smaller. Think so. You are. Yeah, yeah. Is it because are you rehearsing already? We're rehearsing tons. Yeah, it's been so much fun. And my feet are the saddest part of my body. Uh huh. Yes. In what way? I, they don't. They're unrecognizable. Mm -hmm. Those are not my feet. Those are sausages. Uh huh. <laughs> Those are not my feet. But you're dancing in heels like that, right? Well, I know they had like you know three inch heels for me, and I couldn't really dance that well on them, so I got higher. Mm hmm. They work better. Yeah. They I'm the first one to ask for higher heels, I guess. Really? <laughs> I fall off flat shoes, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> How can you fall off flat shoes? Well, I did, when I did VIP, I had very high shoes, and I shot grenade launchers and all sorts of stuff, ran down railroad tracks over cars, and I did all that, and a lot higher heels than these. All right. So, so you're used to that. I'm used you're saying. To it. Yes. All yes. right. All right. So uh, and you're you're gonna do uh, you're gonna do this live. Mm -hmm. uh, and are you wearing outfits like that while you dance? Oops. Oops. It, oops <laughs> is right. Oops. No, they're much more revealing. Uh. -huh. <laughs> I don't know. All right. No, actually, no. I they're got very you. Good. I love them. They're they're really good. I love the costume department. I don't they're want you to have dazzled. a wardrobe malfunction. So these are pasties Jeez. that I got you. <laughs> This is the second pair of pasties I got today. Really? I get a lot of nipple notes. Yeah, well, <laughs> that way you can advertise for me as well. You just put those right on there. Exactly. Maybe right. I'll do that. Yes, All that's right. good. We're going we're gonna to take a break and see how much of this can air. Um, and <laughs> Warren, have you done Pamela R? R um, you know what, what I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Well, that's, that's very close. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. What are you mad at? I know. <laughs> All awesome. right, we'll be back That's with cool. Damien after this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's bring out your dance partner. Please welcome Damien Whitewood, everybody. <laughs> So they have. Has anything mm -hmm. happened yet that you're worried about? <laughs> I mean, well, first of all, did you know that she was going to be your partner? Not at all. No. It's all new to me. I was sitting at home in Australia, got a phone call. All right, here we go. You're on Dancing with the Stars. Okay. Pack up my things, move to LA. <clears throat> Surprise! In the studio, <laughs> door open. Pamela Anderson. You must have freaked out. <laughs> oh my God. You must have freaked out, really. Yeah, I, I think know. I was as nervous. More nervous than you were. You were starting something new, and I'm sitting there going, okay, okay, who's yeah. this going to be? How do I do this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is going to be a challenge, right? Is she working hard? She's totally committed to it, which yeah. is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. That's, for me as a dance teacher, I need the commitment. And is she, does she have rhythm? Is she easy? I would think that you do. I would think you'd, you'd be easy to, to teach. You, you saw the videotape before. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Did yeah. you like that move? Yeah. You can throw that into There's the a bit of rhythm in there. You know, that All right. back somersault. And were you a fan of Baywatch? Did you, did you know her from Baywatch? Uh, did I watch Baywatch? I'm from Australia. Of course I knew about Baywatch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. All right. So now uh, Apollo Ono said that uh, Pam may be too top heavy for dancing. Is that, uh, really? are you worried about that? Top heavy. <laughs> We've had no Not at all. That. It helps yeah. keep your weight. You need your weight over your toes, right. weight forward. Uh huh. Boobs over Add toes. Add a bonus. <laughs> Boobs over toes. She's going to have good body contact. Yeah. That's another plus. Yeah. <laughs> I would think it keeps you further away, so you can't really. <laughs> so, right, and when does it start? 
Monday. Monday. Wow. Big and how long Monday. have you been rehearsing? Uh, a couple of weeks now. It's, yeah, it's almost couple three weeks. weeks. Three yeah. weeks. Three, three weeks on Monday. Wow. Well, but then once it little... starts, you really have to to keep learning new dances constantly. Yeah, every That's week. when it gets yes. really hard. Yeah, every week. All right. Well, we want you to we want to give you a gift to keep oh. you comfy so that you, your feet are. Um, we have uh, Those slippers are really... for you. <laughs> oh, they're Ellen's yes. slippers. And, and we have slippers for you. <laughs> Much more comfortable. Right. <laughs> I know. Wow. wow. Well, you gotta feel. Pre First of all, you look amazing, Kelly. Thank you. you. <laughs> Can I just say, each week those dresses are getting tighter and shorter. <laughs> I love that change. Yeah, you you look very. I think I love it more than you do. Trust me. Yeah, <laughs> like, really. You're very happy right now, aren't you? I think this is probably the happiest I've ever been in my life, and I never thought that it would be from dancing ever. From dancing. Yeah, from dancing. It's it makes me very vulnerable. It makes me really uncomfortable. It's really challenging because most of the time I don't know what I'm doing, and I try and. Kellyfy it, and mm -hmm. it just looks really wrong, and it just you know, and it's the struggle. It's, it's it makes you feel uncomfortable, and then when you finally get it, you feel so great that you you did something you never thought you could do, and it just it keeps happening over and over again throughout the season. It's, it's amazing. Well, you're doing something right. I don't think it it, it doesn't uh, when you Kellyfy it, as you call it. I don't think you're doing anything wrong. It no, looks... I'll do like a turn and instead of standing up straight and like this. Uh huh. And then he's like, "What are you doing? You're not a vampire. Stand up straight." Oh. Like, like, <laughs> Yeah. It's been a ride. I mean, what an emotional roller coaster we have been on. We were here the, the day we premiered. Right, right. And then we're now here in the finals. I know. Crazy. I mean, it's it, crazy. And it doesn't seem that long ago. No. 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 And this is your first time in the finals, right? First time in the finals. So this, this, you want this, it's, I would think. I so want this. And I mean, yes, I would love to win and I would love for us to get the Mirable Trophy. But what I love most is to actually finish the journey. I mean, it's been such a ride, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and to see her change in front of my eyes, actually fading in front of my eyes, <laughs> and seeing more and more the real Kelly, and the reactions we've gotten from America, from the people, from the audience, it is literally we're both in tears. This is the most emotional week we've had because oh, now yeah. we can kind of just sit back and enjoy the ride. Well, that does have to feel good to see the outpouring of love that you it, have from. I mean, from it's and your mother is so supportive. Your mother is. is so happy. She's my biggest cheerleader. Like she just sits there and so excited about every single thing <laughs> yeah. that we do. Right. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> well, um, now your foot is. What's wrong with your foot? Okay. Um, if I take it out of the shoe now, I won't be able to get it back in. Don't take it out. Okay. But um, basically, the joint of my big toe. I somehow did something to the cartilage inside of it. A while ago, mm -hmm. and then through dancing, it's just made it really bad. So it clicks when I walk. Uh -huh. So it's a bit of like cartilage that's grown out. And through dancing a lot on the balls on my feet, it's just made that whole area really swollen in both feet. So every Monday before the show, I have to get my feet numbed. Otherwise, I can't dance. I want to dance. Well, you will be dancing. <laughs> Let's dance. Don't you worry about that. You'll be dancing. So nice to meet you. Ha happy to have you back. Thank you. Um, I uh, can't tell you how happy I am to meet you. Oh, You're such pleasure. an inspiration. What an amazing guy you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so. For those of you who don't know uh, the story, and I know you've probably told it many, many, many times, but it's uh, it's an amazing story. Uh, what ex how long had you been there before this happened, and what happened? Um, well, I joined the United States Army right after high school. I was 19 years old, and uh, there were several reasons for me joining. It would be an opportunity for me kind of be on my own, to be independent, to travel the world. 9-11 uh, happened a year before. It'd be a way for me to contribute and give back to uh, the United States. And mm -hmm. um, I joined in September 2002. January, I was assigned to my unit. March, I deployed. I was 19 years old. And uh, everything happened so fast, you know? And really, mentally, there's no way to really process that you're, the fact that you're going to war. And then in, on April 5th of 2003, I was driving a Humvee through a city called Karbala when my front left tire ran over a landmine. Yeah, let me just move this. This is on and, the uh, Oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, <laughs> I've made it now. <laughs> um, but on April 5th of 2003, I was driving a Humvee through a city called Karbala when my front left tower ran over a landmine. And uh, the other three guys were thrown out of the vehicle, walked away with different injuries, but I was actually trapped inside the truck. And from the actual explosion, it detonated everything we had inside the vehicle, which we pretty much had everything, our ammo, fuel, personal gear. 
Um, and you were trapped inside. I was pinned inside the vehicle, and I, I was completely conscious throughout, throughout the whole time. And um, I can see my hands, you know, and I can see my hands changing in, in, a, in a way that I've, you've only seen in Hollywood. Now, are you, are you in so much pain that the adrenaline just, or you, what happens at a moment like that? Is it slow motion? What's happening You know, to you? It's, you hear a lot of different types of stories from a lot of people that go through things like this. And for me, it was like two things. It was one, it slowed down. The time just slowed down, and it felt like I was in that vehicle for hours and hours and hours. But at the same time, like, because I had third degree burns, um, my tendons and a lot of my nerves kind of just, just sh were shot. So the majority of the pain that I was feeling at that moment was coming from my face. Um, then I was pulled out of the vehicle, was evacuated, was put into a medical induced coma and uh, was brought to San Antonio, Texas. How long were you in a coma? I was in a coma for almost three weeks. Three and weeks. Three weeks, and um, the last words that I said to my mother before I went to Iraq, of course, I was 19, I said, don't worry, they can't stop me. One way or another, I'm gonna come back home. And so when I came out of my coma, the first words to my mother, I said, see, I told you they couldn't stop me, and right. I told her I loved her. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she turned around and looked at my doctor and said, he's gonna be fine, Jr. I was gonna be fine, but it, it was tough. I mean, I was 19 years old, and. I woke up from this coma and, and I'm thinking to myself, uh, after looking at my body and seeing that I couldn't walk, I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself, I couldn't feed myself, um, it would have been better if, there, if I would have had a female nurse feeding me, but I had a male nurse feeding me, so <laughs> that didn't make it any better. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, it was tough. It was like, what am I gonna do with this? And finally, one day, you know, my mother kind of had a nice kind of sit down talk to me, as uh, a good mother does, and uh, I just made a choice. I made a choice in that moment. I said, you know what? Life goes on, and I don't know what the purpose of this is, but um, if I have a good attitude, if I stay positive, if I continue to smile every single day, something good will happen to me, and uh, all this would make sense. How many... I mean... A burn victim, I mean, the, the kind of things that you must, you know, endure just to heal, the, the, the scraping and the skin and all this stuff. Right. How many operations have you had? I've had 33. So when people ask me all the time, did you ever think that, you know, you would go from the hospital bed to being in Hollywood? And I say, absolutely, because I've met the criteria of plastic surgery. <laughs> so I, I should be entitled to a shot. I'm not saying I should get a job, but give me an audition at least. But, and that's the biggest thing is that, you know, not everyone knew how to accept me, and I, I didn't know necessarily how to communicate with a lot of people, so what I learned was humor. And I learned as long as you can kind of, you know, humor was kind of like that, 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 that chipper, you know, and, and just kind of chips away at things and makes everyone just kind of be, eh, that's JR. Because, yeah, because people would be uncomfortable going, well, I have to tiptoe around this guy because of, but, but you make it very comfortable. Yeah, you know? well, I had it's... a kid one time come up to me, and he said, he's like, you don't look normal. And I said to him, it's funny, because I was actually looking at you thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> And it confused him, and he walked away, uh, and he came back 15 minutes later, literally, and said, I just want to apologize. He said, that was so rude of me. And, and he was just like, you know, it's so cool that you're able to kind of have humor yeah. and you're on your toes. And I was like, well, you know, the good thing that I look at it as is the opportunity that I have is to be able to raise awareness about service members who serve in our military and their families. Um, but at the same time, it gives an opportunity for me to kind of show the world that you can see scars, you know, but it's, it's really what's beneath that that makes a big difference and makes a person who they are. Absolutely. And what a person you are. What an amazing guy. So, Karina. I mean, really, I, just, I think you're amazing, and, and I think like the, the, keep the joy, I, I like you, I want to keep touching all of you, because we I think touch. We, you're, touch. we can keep touching, we can touch. because, you know, <laughs> you just emanate joy and, and positivity, and that must have been, how did you learn that, uh, that he was going to be your partner? Um, well, we don't find out until the last moment who the partner is, and JR was the only person that was not in the Rumorville. Like, no one heard his name been mentioned, so. Um, and then they said, well, you have a war veteran. So my first question was, which war? <laughs> World War I? Come in my cane. You know? <laughs> You're not my walker. <laughs> We're the, not civil, the, civil, the Civil War. Uh, <laughs> no, but um, then JR walked in, and, and we had an instant connection. Yeah. It was easy, it was natural, and you're right, he is so positive. It's like I wake up and I run to the studio. It's my escape. Yeah. And it really, uh, it yeah. really is a beautiful thing to be positive, and it's, it's something that, um, that you know, it's, 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 I live by every single day. And, and, and granted, people see me smile every single day and see me on Dancing with the Stars, mm -hmm. dancing and having a great time, but yep. it, it doesn't, I mean, the truth of the matter is there are days that are tough. You know, all of us have battles. I mean, there's a reason we're wearing pink. 
you know, because of what yeah. the women face and families go through all the time. But um, just fight, continue to fight, continue to smile, continue to believe and have faith, and all good things will come to, to That's surface. right. That's, That's right.